High Point ranked second in the state for its hunger issue. The Greater High Point Food Alliance held its Can You Cook It event here at Centennial Station March 31st. The event brought the familiar High Point University term Magic Meal to life. Taking boxing to a whole new level, four of High Point's top chefs were pitted against each other in a food box competition. Using only items found in food boxes they were given, each chef designed a nutritional meal fit for a whole family. Each dish was sampled and voted on by those who attended the event, as well as three judges who are nutritionists. Reverend Dr. Joe Blosser describes why we are really talking about when it comes to hunger in High Point. Most people see that this is a community issue and we have to be in partnership. It can't just be giving money or giving food, but it has to be really forming community and working with people, coming alongside people who are experiencing these problems. We're really talking about people that don't have access to good, nutritious food. The chefs were also allotted $11 to buy additional ingredients outside of the food box, which runner-up Brian of Emerywood didn't use any of, and first place Eric of Spring and Splinter Club used a small portion of. Students of Dr. Shannon Campbell, who is also a local leader on the board of the Greater High Point Food Alliance, have been working all semester to create this event. A meal of rice, beans, and cabbage gives you all of the protein that you need for a day, and it costs $1.25 a serving. The face of hunger is here at home. The magic of the night was created by a community coming together to do great service and help out an important cause. That's before the silent auction. I so. think it's 2100 Well, I guess it's 2100 after 3, It's a 000, lot of money. $3,000. Lots of cashola once the silent auction finished up. So it was a great turnout. Hopefully we can make it annual. Check out the Facebook group, Food Group, to get involved with your friends for ways to fight hunger in High Point on campus. This is Gabby Vigarito, HPU News.